Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, you know, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem. Ba Hashem Rakakodash. You know, and double on the city apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect. And this year is I'm a one from the great millstone camp in Trinidad. Coming back again, you know, to do another quick edification through the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashami Yahweh Shai. The name of this lesson is um, um, Esau not going on beyond punish. And I was reading Isaiah 34 today. And let me see if I, let me see if I, I say I'll do a video on that, you know, and I'm going to go back in it here in my sword here. Hey, now it's time, you have all time in here and do videos. I mean, I was always doing videos, but do videos, you know, preach to the works. Um, on the, on the internet, they, they make full profile ministry still. I think it's Isaiah 34 and 6. And it's here, um, the sword of the Lord. Um, the sword of the Lord is made fat with, is filled with, with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats and the fat of the kidneys of rams. For Yahweh had a sacrifice in Bajra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. See? And that is it right here. Is it right? Lord have a sacrifice in Bojra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. And the reason why the Lord gonna punish Idumia, Idumia is Edom. Edom is Esau. Esau is the so called white man. And the reason why the father gonna punish them is see for this thing, these things we are going on read out here. It says top ten horrible punishments for slaves in America. Slavery, one of America's greatest tragedies, which was not tragedy. A tragedy is like something you didn't, didn't allow. You know, son. If I if I kill fifty people, I committed murder. That was not that was not tragedy. I was just being a fucking demon. Why fifty people? Um, get the house burned down by a bushfire. That is like a tragedy. That wasn't a tragedy. That was just Esau being very, very wicked to the Israelites. That is all it was. And for those things, you have to pay, you know? Cause immeasurable suffering and loss of human life. The Stanford Prison Experiment is frequently cited when people discuss the brutality demonstrated by humans with power but we do not need to look any further than our own history for these examples slaves could be punished for any number of offenses including theft laziness running away or even speaking their native language by some accounts enslaved people were disciplined for sport here are 10 of the most horrible punishments recorded for slaves in america Warning, this content contains graphic descriptions of various physical abuses. Blah, 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 blah. Open on top buzz. So let me go on top buzz because I had the app. It's because they're like, they ain't giving you it on Google just so they had the app for it. Ah, that's not. Going on there, eh? Oh god, I... He trying to play a kind of mad role here for me. Okay, yes man, I'm a guy to, to turn. The screen don't want to turn all of a sudden. What the hell is this? Wow. I'll go read it just so it says slavery. Um, right. 
Right, it says warning this content contains graphic descriptions of various physical abuses and tortures and may act as a trigger to sensitive individuals. No. Them sensitive individuals they're talking about is Jake. The same we sensitive, but he's so insensitive for this fake ass holocaust that he committed. Which Adolf Hitler was set up by the Rothschilds. And the um the the, the uh, Stalin, Joseph Stalin, all of them were funded by Rothschilds. All. If you last one of them when you do your research, all of them was funded by the Rothschilds. You see them Rothschilds on them? Them Rothschilds on them definitely owns every single thing in this world. This they were. Anybody else see raised up high in parliament just so? Calling the shots. Them is Rothschilds. They doesn't have that as high, but then nevertheless, not that I digress, right? All of them rubbing this this fucking stupid ass holocaust in me face like like they really get like they really get um abused in the holocaust, which is a lie. You know them shit I'm, I'm trying to play on It says this content contains graphic descriptions of various physical abuses and tortures and may act as a trigger to sensitive individuals. Great care has been taken to respect the lives and histories of the people presented as slaves. Please read at your own discretion. Featured image credit Library of Congress. 10. Whipping. In America, slaves including pregnant women and children were often whipped as punishment the famous image of the slave gordon aka whipped peter reveals the skin on the on his back was raised with a lattice of scars from brutal and repeated whippings however some owners did not stop there when their slaves wounds began to heal these owners order that the wounds be split open and that products such as red pepper and turpentine be applied into the gashes. According to some accounts, one owner ground a brick into rubble and dust and mixed it with lard and rubbed it on the wounds of a slave mutilation. Slaves were often expected to work in exceptionally difficult physical conditions especially in the fields or on cotton plantations other slaves worked in their masters homes and were expected to be well groomed and clean these slaves often had lighter skin or better speaking skills either way it would make sense for the slaves bodies to be protected and maintained however it rarely happened particularly in cases where slaves had fought each other or resisted owners or overseers it was common for owners to order bodily mutilation sometimes involved cutting off an ear or slicing at the flesh more severe examples included amputating limbs gouging out eyes cutting hamstrings or even castrating both males and females in many cases, these the victims did not receive medical treatment. Some died from infection, blood loss, and other complications. And that was all done by Edom, Esau. So this is why the most I say you have a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. All right. Now, you know. Um, I'm gonna get our next one. This nigga right here called fucking Washington, George Washington. May the most I kill all you Edomites by Shalak Ryaman, all Esau by every Edomite standing on this face of this earth. May the most I. Yawabasham, Yawshai, bring all you down into slavery and fucking punishment. The England and get away, Esau, you wicked bastard like you by public burnings. It says public burnings punishments were often made public other slaves were forced to watch as a warning that they should behave or be disciplined the same way at times other owners or people from nearby towns came to watch as a form of entertainment 
After slavery was abolished, public lynchings and hangings continued into the 20th century. One horrific method of punishment was public burning. Slaves were either tied to a stake above or above a fire. Some slaves fainted or passed out from the smoke inhalation before the fire began to consume their bodies. But many were tortured by the flames before they finally died. And this wicked bitch right here. I'm going to read this one about you. Long term chaining. The use of chains is well documented throughout the history of slavery. It began on slave ships where captured Africans or Israelites, they say Africans, captured Israelites, were shackled together in the hulls of the vessel. Long term chaining was often meted out to repeat runaway, runaway slaves. They were chained to their workstations or to other slaves. In some cases, long lines of slaves were shackled together to perform manual tasks in unison. This was the origin of the chain gangs that became infamous in US prisons. One woman who became notorious for her maltreatment of slaves even by the 19th century standards was Madame Delphine LaLaurie. Various investigations were undertaken to determine the condition of her slaves until a fire broke out in her home in 1834. An elderly slave who served as a cook supposedly started a blaze in, an, in a suicide attempt. She had been shackled to the stove with the cooking fire. Afterwards, several slaves were discovered in horrific conditions in the Lalori attic, suspended by their necks. They were standing with their limbs chained in a way that stretched and tore them. And it had forced reproduction with a cause with a force we to breed interbreed with mother, with sister, with cousin. And that is so. You understand? That is Esau for your ass. And because of that now, <laughs> this way you don't going to have to pay the ultimate price. You understand? Uh, doing all the research there. This way you don't going to have to pay the ultimate price. You may get the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. And this is what it says. Says, therefore all that devour thee shall be devoured and all thine adversaries every one of them shall go into captivity and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil and they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey like Edom Revelation 39 and 10 uh, the highlight I must highlight you cannot have that beer by <laughs> what I highlight Revelation 13 verse 9 If any man have an ear let him hear He that leadeth into captivity Shall go into captivity He that killeth with the sword Must be killed with the sword Here is the patience and the faith of the seas There we go We go in Book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 And verse 6 and Verse 5 5 to 6. It says, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the Most High, that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of the Most High, for which you also suffer. And we did suffer, and we still suffer. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. The book of Jeremiah, not Daniel, Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 7 it says concerning Edom yeah you have to get you have to get a good read it says concerning Edom thus saith Yahweh of hosts is wisdom no more in Timon is counsel perished from the prudent is their wisdom vanished 
flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan. For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. If grape gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made thee so bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy fatherless children, I will preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord, Yahawabasham Yahushai, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup. So, let me just do something here quick. Alright. Here we go on to read. It says, For thus yet Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, have assuredly drunken forced reproduction. Long term chaining, public burnings, demotion or seal, suspended beneath a cooking fire, the hog's head, which that was real harsh. Matter of fact, let me read that former slaves may offer the most harrowing accounts of slave abuse and torture. Moses Rupper was born of his African Israelite. When he had two Israelite parents. Probably from the tribe of Judah and from the tribe of either God or Reuben. A Native American mother who was a slave to his English father. What? After Moses escaped his bondage, he wrote a book about his life. He explicitly outlined various tortures and indignities that slaves in America had to suffer. Moses recounted the sport and pleasure that some owners took in corporal punishment. He described a slaveholder who hammered nails into a hogshead, which is a large barrel, and left the nail points protruding inside his slaves were stuffed into these barrels and rolled down long steep hills while the owner and other slaves watched for thus saith Yahweh Jeremiah 49 verse 12 behold they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken and are thou he that shall altogether go unpunished Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, saith Yahweh, that Bajra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual wastes. Jumping down. Verse 16. Thy terribleness hath deceived thee. And the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, also Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished, shall hiss at all the plagues thereof, as in the overture of Sodom and Gomorrah. In the neighboring cities here of Sirti Abbasham Yoshai, no man shall abide here, neither shall the Son of Man dwell in it. And with that, I give all praise to our Basham Yoshai, Basham Akakodash, and hopefully you've been edified. Till the next time, I'll say Shalom.